Hello, I'm going to be doing a video run through slash guide on how to consistently get uh, the following achievements. Uh, the Ragtag Bunch, which requires you to win a run with 10 or fewer cards at the end of the run. And only Determination, which requires you to win a run without collecting any artifacts. My goal is to do this in a way that requires very little luck. In order to do this, I decided that I'll only be using starting cards. Uh, in your own playthrough, you'll have the flexibility to pick up cards to make it easier, but I wanted to make sure the run didn't rely on them for success. Uh, the only luck will be at the very start of the game. When you start out, you'll find out which version of Seraph you're fighting. This has uh, an effect on the final battle and can make these achievements more challenging if you're using this method. You can tell which version you're fighting by the symbol in the upper right of the corner, right hand of the screen. A circle with a line through it means you're fighting Seraph the Diligent. The effect for this fight is the first spell that you play each turn will be consumed. Since we're going to be cutting our cards down to 10, that makes these achievements much more challenging. Uh, there are cards that would make it much easier, uh, such as Spreading Spores, but that's a rare card and not something you're guaranteed to get, so I advise going against a different version of Seraph when going for this achievement. A plus sign means that Seraph will be having their buff and debuff stacks uh, during the final fight, since Sentient relies on buff stacks uh, such as Spikes or Regen. It's not ideal, but still doable. Uh, it's just probably best to set up on the top floor for the final fight so that you have time to rebuild uh, stacks. Uh, down arrow means that you'll be fighting uh, Seraph the Temperant, which uh, will sap your units, making them do less damage. It doesn't really have an effect on the, the champion because uh, the champion doesn't attack uh, directly. So really that's ideal. Uh, I think uh, if you want maximum chance of success, you can go against Seraph, uh, the Temperant, but you can do it with the any version of Seraph, really. I just, for this version, I say go against not the Diligent for maximum success chance. Um, so for my run through, I, I use Awoken as a primary champion and start a run at Covenant Zero. If it's against Seraph the Diligent, I restart for the reasons I mentioned. Um, and uh, because I just don't want to have to rely on getting a random card during the course of the run in order to have a chance at the achievement. Um, then I pick uh, the Explosive Sentient, which is the one that does damage whenever you heal. Um, again, if that's not a choice, which is, you know, one out of three chance, it's not an option, then you can restart and look for a combination of getting the explosive and having Seraph not be the diligent. Um, once you have those two, uh, the random part of the game is pretty much over. Uh, you just uh, can rely on the cards that you already have to win. Uh, the goal is simple, you just... You have five restores in your deck, which are enough to deal with most encounters by themselves uh, by just playing them on the champion. Um, at merchants, uh, you kind of want to remove cards, uh, as is the goal anyway. Um, and you want to reduce the cost of restorations so that you can play as many as you can each turn that you draw them. So, uh, train stewards, uh, remove train stewards and torches. Torches are still useful for the first couple fights just to kill uh, weak units, but by the time you get to like later fights, the damage isn't enough to do have much of an impact. Um, and train stewards, um, even even from the second fight, they they're not very impactful. Um, so, once uh, you've removed all those cards, uh, you start, 
you start with five restores and you start with a champion so that's six cards that you probably want to keep and uh, since you can have up to 10 cards, this leaves room in your deck for 4 other cards. Some decent options for those cards are better regen cards, Awake or Wildwood Sap are both good options, um, since they provide more regen than your starting restores. You want uh, a way to uh, uh, deal with backline units, um, since uh, you might not be able to cut through every unit each turn with just your restores. Um, so Glimmer will hit everybody and especially good if you can give it spell power and then Spikes cards will do damage to the back units as well. Um, and then another option is getting a single strong unit to put behind your sentient since you're going to be tanking anyway. Um, catch there is on the final fight if you're fighting I think it's the easiest Seraph, um, they'll be sapping their units, um, so they, uh, unless they have really high base damage, they're not going to be doing much on the final fight, so really it's just to help you before then. Um, some good options for units are Demon Fiend or Alpha Fiend, uh, Alpha Fiend has scaling damage with multi-strike, um, and Demon Fiend just, just has a really high base attack. Again, would be good with multi-strike. Um, sweepers can help uh, so that you can hit back units more consistently. Um, yeah, but again, as you can see in this run, I, I didn't pick up any of those cards and it's still fine. Um, another thing to note is after you defeat Daedalus and Fell, which is our boss is three and six, you are given an enhancement. Um, it goes in the same area as the artifacts, but they don't count as an artifact, so you are allowed to pick them up, and in fact, you are required to. Uh, I usually choose to go with card draw, because um, you just want to draw it onto all these free restores as much as possible, but it really depends on what additional cards you pick up, since I duplicated my restores, I decided to go with card draw, and as you can see it led to victory um, with very little luck. So um, in the end, if you go to the run summary here, I ended up with a total of, I believe it's seven cards, yeah it looks like I have five, six restores and the champion, so seven cards with so three card leeway for any other cards you want to pick up. Uh, if you